Hi guys, so let's start with question number 5. It seems to be a long one, so let's go step by step. Firstly, we'll SSH into the node. There we go. And it says that previously the application API gateway was used by some external autoscaler. And now it has been replaced with HPA. The application has been deployed in namespace as API gateway staging and prod respectively. This is the customization part. And yeah, let me tell you, this customize thing has been added in this 2025 update. So make sure you do practice this question since it is an important topic. Now let's go to this config. Here we have three directories. One is base, other one is prod and staging. So the first part says that we need to remove the config map horizontal scaling config completely from this section. So let's firstly see what all files do we have over here. In base, if we see we have two files, API gateway and customization.yaml. And if we look, these files have three parts. It it is creating service account next it has deployment and here in the middle we have the config map so we would be just commenting out or deleting this part since it says we need to remove this section so yeah firstly we do this And in customization.yaml, we will see what all do we have. It's just the basic resource it's pointing at. And a transformer has been added. So we are good to go from here. Next, we have the staging directory. Here also we see we have two files. One is API gateway. And here it is creating a config map, which is the horizontal scaling config, which needs to be removed. And next, we have the deployment. So we'll just delete this as well. Yeah, done. And now we'll check the customization.yaml again. We have the sources and the patch has been defined. Next, we'll go to the production and here we see we have again two files. So we'll just directly go to the API gateway and we have two resources being created over here. One is deployment, other one is config map and this config map needs to be deleted. So we'll just remove these lines. And in customization.yaml, again, we have the base defined patch is being this YAML file. And yeah, we are good to go. So the first part of the question we have completed. We have removed the config map completely. And now let's start with the second question, which is the add HPA name this for the deployment this with the required replicas. And it should scale at 50% CPU utilization. So we'll just open the documentation quickly. Make sure that you open this for your imperative commands as well. Like if you see over here, we have the auto scale command. Yeah, this is the command which I'm talking about. So we'll just use this cube ctl auto scale next we have the deployment deployment name is this and we have min as 2 max as 4 
then we have the CPU utilization to be at 50 and this we are creating for the staging okay so we have already created it let's check okay so we have minimum pods 2 maximum pods 4 at 50 percent and this is the name of the hpa and it seems to be fine next we have is the third part in the fraud the hpa should have six replicas and the fourth part says apply your changes for staging and fraud so they are reflected in the cluster so staging is reflected now let's start with the fraud one So we will just remove these parameters as these have not been defined in this part. So we will just keep max as 6 and hyphen n as this prod. Yeah, created. And we will check. So we will just be keeping at 1, 6 is there. We haven't defined any CPU then. So it has automatically fetched the information. So yeah, we have completed this question successfully.